getting ready to reattach the muffler here. So I got the clamp loosened up on here. Uh, get that in place. Slide it on. This is the Onan muffler here. Uh, it goes on this generator. Um, there's a hole in the back and then a little nipple sticking out back there that it goes on. Everything's fine. Nothing is broken on it. I just need to get it up in there. Should go pretty easy. clamp spun around where I can actually get a ratchet on it. Okay, got that muffler mounted back on there. Let's see if the generator starts. attach some of that foil insulation still leaving plenty of room I think for airflow to get into that generator bay but hopefully that'll keep the water off of the generator now um, we'll give it a try hopefully it won't overheat I'll have to keep an eye in the summertime um, maybe have to cut, cut a little couple holes in it or something I could probably remove the bottom one. I just didn't know how much spray came up from down there. Um, but I think I think I've left enough ventilation, and then the muffler is permanently attached again. So just crossing off a few things on the list today. I wired my REI 3D60 camera system to a switch on my dash now, so I can just hit an auxiliary switch, and it'll just always stay on reverse now when I'm driving down the road. Cause I like having that view behind me instead of the view in front of me. Um, and then I always have the 360 view on the other side to choose from, so uh, I can see what's next to me. Uh, but I always want to see what's coming up behind me if I've completed a pass that I can go ahead and, and get over. Uh, I like that rear view better than the forward view. The, the forward view was no of use, no use to me. Uh, if I want to look forward again, I can just see out the windshield, and that's what I see. So, um, although when it was really dark the other night, the uh, infrared vision with that thing is amazing so i was on really dark country roads i probably would want to go ahead and flip it back over to the front view uh, because the infrared at night is very impressive you can see the lane lines really good traffic in front of you things like that it was i could really see far much far it was foggy and rainy and i could see 10 times further and better in that night vision than i could or i don't know if it's night vision but um the infrared vision far, far superior to what I could see out the windshield. So it did come in handy uh, being able to see that. So I can toggle it on and off now. And I'm very happy about that. I do love this system from REI. I think it's absolutely amazing. Here's a, a little something I forgot to mention before. Um, but remember when we were out in Ohio and we went and worked on Sage's bus and that really nice guy, fan of ours, Richard, came out and offered us to come to his fuel station and gave us a free tank of fuel. Uh, so this is the journal, um, which is his local newspaper, and on the front page of the paper, they did an article about us, um, which it was a really nice article. Talked about the the gas station and then the silver sides and stuff, and then go to page five. Page four, page five. Uh, and then there's the rest of it, so you could read that if you want to. You can pause it and read it. Um, but that was very nice. That the, so he did get some publicity out of it, and they featured us in the paper, and you know put us on the front page of the local little paper. That's kind of interesting and fun. So thanks again to Richard for helping us out with that. Tonight I have a Skype meeting, um, working on some YouTube stuff with a company, and uh, I just wanted to. Kind of, I don't think I really showed our mobile setup here, but we have the Wi-Fi booster which is, or the cell phone booster, which is with WeBoost. Um, absolutely love that thing. Got an external antenna on it. It gives me really good signal. And then this is our Wi-Fi device, which is a, I think it's called a Jetpack. It's by, it's from Verizon. Is that what it's called, a Jetpack, Kelly? Yes. Okay. Um, it's charging right now, but it gives me really good 
signal here. There we go. Um, so yeah, I got full full bars of oh, you probably can't even see it. Full bars of LTE on it. Um, we never use up the data on it. Uh, we also have our cell phones that we can use as well. Um, but I can I can surf the internet and do whatever. And then I have to, I said I have a Skype meeting tonight. So this is just my desk in the bus, um, where I've got my computer and a couple little Greyhound buses and stuff. But uh, it allows me to you know this thing here gives us. When we were just out working in um, Ohio, Mark had to drive four miles to get cell phone signal, and we could use this thing in the bus, and we could download and uh, send texts and receive phone phone calls and everything like that. And um, there was just no other way uh, without that that we would have been able to have any communication where we were at, um, being in the hills and everything. So having that signal antenna way up on top of the bus and not blocked by anything, it really comes comes in handy. So I, I do love this uh, Jetpack 2 and then the, the booster from WeBoost. Uh, this is the RV. Uh, I have two of them, but this particular one here is the... I forgot what model it is. Um, it's a WeBoost Drive X. So that's what it is. Um, but yeah, it's a nice workstation and it's convenient and it lets me stay connected on the road, which helps us run the YouTube channel.